Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Friday, June 24th, 2022. And in the Atlantic Basin, we now have Invest Area 94L. I'll explain what a 94L means in my afternoon update today, so make sure you catch that. Here it is out in the deep tropical Atlantic, something we are going to have to watch pretty closely over the next several days. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, still hanging on to Celia out there. And then a new area has popped up here, low probabilities of development, not much model support at all for anything else to get going in the eastern Pacific over the next several days. So no major concerns in that part of the world. So looking at the satellite animation this morning, we can see there is Invest Area 94L, a lot of moisture, a lot of energy down there, kind of entwined within the intertropical convergent zone. That's the area where the trade winds from the northern and southern hemispheres meet, generally speaking. Uh, and it's got to kind of separate from that and become its own entity. And until it does so, it's just going to kind of be an impulse moving along within the trade winds. But it does have a pretty favorable environment. The shear is abnormally low. The water temperatures are abnormally high. The moisture content is abnormally high. And it does look like it's going to be all systems go eventually for this to develop. So our friends in the Windward Islands and then areas west of there are going to want to watch this really closely over the coming days. First off, here is Celia. That is what a fairly well-developed tropical storm looks like in the vorticity signature. And then comparing that over here to 94L, kind of oblong shaped there, like a bean or something, it has to get more rounded and more bundled, but it is getting there. That is certainly the signature of something that we need to watch and that is reflected very nicely here in the early cycle track guidance. Uh, some of the models and the consensus models in there. Pretty tightly clustered envelope. No major deviations from any of the models that we see plotted here. More will be added as the National Hurricane Center runs more models. The H-Wharf and the H-Mon, those are specific models just for tropical cyclones. Those haven't been run yet, to my knowledge. That might be coming up soon. Now looking at the European ensembles here uh, from the weathernerds.org site, very clear that something is going to try to develop from this cluster of energy in the deep tropics and make its way off to the west and west-northwest with time. Where it ends up in the long term, we don't know for sure, but I think it's clear that early on within the next five, six, seven days, somewhere around there, this could be an impact for our friends in the Windward Islands and then possibly even the Southern Caribbean islands as well. So we will focus on that more and more as the days tick by. All right, I will cover all of this in greater detail in my afternoon update, the hurricane outlook and discussion. You can catch that on YouTube and on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'm Mark Suddeth. I'll be back with more for you on my afternoon update later today.